Hello and welcome to another LEGO knockoff slash bootleg review. This is the Captain America set from DLP, Jewelry Pin Toys. Uh, this is set DLP 9029 and it is 8 Captain America figures uh, with 8 Captain America uh, cars, sort of dealies. And the side of the boxes all look the same. Uh, and this side, you have basic instructions on how to assemble the figure. So, uh, we have uh, the Captain America based on the first release from the LEGO series. We have the Age of Ultron slash Civil War Captain America. And um, we have um, kind of Comic Con, but not quite because he doesn't have white eyes, Captain America. So you can just paint that white, sort of, and kind of have a Cap Comic Con one. Uh, Captain Hydra, which I already compared to the... Uh, Poco and XINH releasing, check that video out. Um, which also did the giveaway for Captain Hydra's. Uh, this one, which is just another Lego, standard Lego copy one, but um, it's based on the one where he actually has the head instead of the mask. So this one was in the uh, 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 Heady Carrier um, Shield, Heady Carrier set. Uh, we've got another Captain America here, which. Um, Again, uh, this is no. This one's based on the first Lego figure release. This one's based on the later ones. Um, the other blue one's based on the later ones with more color. Uh, this one's their own design, based on someone's design online. This one's also based on someone's design online. That's a bunch of boxes right in there. Back of the boxes uh, again, all the same, showing you. Hey, you got these cars and stuff, and people. And not Captain America's fighting Captain America's. And of course, since there's a go-kart sort of thing in here, each one of these come with an instruction sheet. All the cars are exactly the same, so if you buy a whole set, you have eight same cars. The only difference being that uh, Captain Hydra, for example, has a different shield, so a different shield pops on top of the car, but the rest of them have the exact same car set. And here's a quick look at the top of the boxes. If you do want to take a look at the box art and photos of shoots of the figures, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. So this is the car you get in these sets and um, no rubber tires or anything, it is solid plastic wheels and so they, I mean they roll okay on this service but um, hmm, it feels a bit cheap to be honest, really could do with the rubbers. Um, I mean the good thing about these is uh, these cars have a base of a 4x6 plate. Uh, fully studded plates, so if you want, like these plates or need them uh, and they're very useful for uh, building display cases like little step display cases for all the figures especially if you collect these bootleg figures you probably have like a hundred or two hundred or maybe five hundred of them so it's really useful to have one of these plates um, for building cases so that's a great source of that but you can probably just uh, get all of these from other sources easier than this but that's the only thing, good thing I want to say about these uh, the bit they look okay for the most part, but um, they are a bit flat and they do a little bit tacky. So maybe you combine two of these, you can make a car that looks a little bit better. But um, yeah, I'm not really impressed with these. They are just, like I said, they are okay, but um, that's it really. It's sort of eh. still, it's a bit better than just a display plate, I guess. But um, uh, I guess I what I would like to say is instead of having eight cars, it might be nice for them to uh, give us pieces that we can combine all eight sets together to make something else. But I guess you have enough pieces here, lots of plates in these pieces. You can probably build something pretty cool out of all these pieces put together, maybe. So the first four figures here are all based on official Lego sets. We have uh, this Captain America, which is based on the first. Uh, so when Avengers came out, so the first sort of Captain America suit that they had. And then this one's based on the Age of Ultron suit, or Civil War suit. And this one's also based on the same suit, but uh, with the mask off and with the uh, Steve Rogers head there. And uh, this one's based on the newer LEGO sets that's not based on the movies, but uh, you can get that uh, official uh, Captain America from some of the more comic booky sets. Uh, the diving suit Captain America, for example, or the space uh, Captain America, so you can get them from there. Hence the very light blue color to make it more comic booky and more cartoony. And you see here, all of these have the same shield, and the other Captain Americas, apart from Captain Hydra, all have the exact same shield. And uh, yes, these shields are printed pretty much pretty decently. Um, all have silver, blue, and uh, printed on a red plastic. There is a little bit of black outline on the star, so the details are good enough there. 
and here are the figures with the shield removed. Now, even though these two figures are based on the same torso, uh, this one is actually more accurate because these lines here are printed in silver, whereas this one's printed in black, and the official one is printed in silver. Although, uh, I will say that it is nice that they alter it just a little bit just to give some variation. It is still a bit lazy just to have the same figure again, but uh, a little bit of variation is better than no variation if you're going to get two figures almost exactly the same anyway. Uh, the figures on the right, those look pretty decent, pretty close to the official thing actually. Uh, however, the one, the second one here, the face is a little bit squished compared to the official one and does look a little bit goofy even without the official one to compare it to. So, and instead of uh, this body, they, um, depending on when they produced it, I guess they could have copied the Mighty Macros, uh, Mighty Micros figure uh, instead of that. So yeah, as for well, uh, this head here, this head's also pretty good. I'm looking at a picture of this Steve Rogers online and it does look pretty accurate compared to that one. These figures also have back head prints and from what I can tell they are pretty close to the official ones as well. And again, the print overall is pretty decent on all of them. Uh, I will say that the, uh, <laughs> the only one that is a little bit odd is the Steve Rogers head because um, that's clearly a bit of a warped. Uh, print right there, the face just looks a little bit wrong. It reminds me of uh, some of the uh, Xing Yuan figures when they try to do their own faces and they all end up a little bit goofy compared to the official Lego figures. But the rest of them, uh, print's fine, all details are there. And you see uh, the print on the back of this one is different from each other. So, hmm, curious. With the next four figures, all of these are not based on any previous Lego designs. Uh, the first one here, now this one I've not seen any other bootleg quite done this design before, but I kind of like it. Uh, previously there was a Shingyon figure that comes close to this design, and um, <laughs> here he is. You can see he looks um, a little bit goofy with this helmet on. Oops, doesn't look quite right with this helmet on. Um, but yeah, the design's similar, but it's not exactly the same, so I can't really say it's the same design. The white suit there, uh, we do have a figure that's a bit closer, but again, it's um, it's based on the same design, but it's not done the, the same way as each other. So again, these figures are quite different from each other. And here's another one that um, might be a similar reference. Same white suit. So uh, all those um, <coughs> uh, those are from uh, previous uh, Xing Yuan releases. So in case you're wondering where they come from. And as for this figure there, which looks like it's based on um, the SDCC figure, again, uh, it's this one. Now this one, this Xing Yuan one is exact copy of uh, apart from the thick arms from the previous uh, Xing Yuan stuff, where they had the weird arm shapes. If you're not sure about that, you can check out my old Xing Yuan reviews. Apart from those weird, arm, weird arms, the Xing Yuan one is based on the official uh, Comic Con exclusive Captain America figure. And again, this figure here is based on the same design because you got the black suit thing going on and the red hands. However, it's it's done differently. <laughs> so all of them are based on the same designs done differently. And if you want to look at the comparison of the Hydra, you can see that in the Captain Hydra video, the Pogo one, because that one compares that with the XINH and this figure. And again, they're all based on the same design, but but they're done differently in Lego form. So all four of these figures are in there were unique to the bootleg world and yet if you're not too bothered about slight variants from uh, other releases then you can probably skip these as well. Me personally, I do like them. I like what they've done here. They do look good but it's also frustrating that they're not quite different enough for me to really go out there and, and, um, and recommend them. They're all nicely done except for this Captain America here. His, uh, his print is a bit messed up there. Um, you see the brown's completely out of line. Uh, so yeah, so not only are these figures printed nicely on the front, uh, for example this Captain America has side leg printing, the gun print carries on, this one has arm printing as well, um, and this, this one also has arm printing, this one does not, just uh, black arms there. Yeah, a quick look at the back of the figure, you probably notice that the Hydra figure has a secondary head. Uh, nothing to cover the second face with though, so that's a little bit annoying, but um, 
It is nice that it is there for some variation, uh, so that's you know, still a good thing to have. So uh, just you know, when you take photos or play around with it, just pretend that face isn't there. And uh, the rest, all the figures have pretty decently printed torsos, nothing too out of issue. I think the silver's a little bit off there, but apart from that, I can't really see anything wrong with these printed uh, uh, figures, so all of them do look pretty good. So just in case you were wondering, the legs uh, on the figures on the DLP figures that look the same as Lego and the pegs on the hip piece have a little bump on it so the legs doesn't fall off that easily as for the figure itself the arm joint there uses a sort of peg uh, that you get in a lot of these blue legs instead of a weird uh, sort of C circular shape like the official Lego pieces there you go uh, all of these have really good clutch and not too tight not too loose all of them move very smoothly very well done and uh, in terms of one more comparison that I almost forgot is that the Shinyan also released the uh, Steve Rogers um, figure but you can see the face there it is no comparison this one looks like the official one that has the correct hair whereas this one just looks like looks ridiculous so I know which one I'm keeping so there you go, I'm going to keeping this one over that one. And all these figures here are very, very good. Uh, they're very good copies of the official ones, and the other four are also very good representations from the original source, like most likely the comic book counterparts. Uh, the cars are just meh. So meh. They're not that good. They're not, they're not terrible, but they're not that great. Uh, so for most people, I imagine they'll probably use it to build something else, or use as spare parts or something. Uh, by now, with a lot of bootleg sets, with a lot of different set pieces and stages and display plates, yeah, I imagine a lot of people would use a lot of those pieces, combine them into build something else. I personally use a lot of these plates and a lot of extra pieces to build my own little display. Uh, step ladder cases because I put them put the figures in little plastic transparent plastic boxes and use those spare pieces to build little stages for them to stand and display on. Never thought those cars they suck but the figures themselves are really really good and uh, I'll be keeping I personally want to keep a few of these uh, for the official ones that I already have and of course I won't be keeping uh, one two and three I won't be keeping those because I already have them and um uh, yeah, I'm going to keep being the rest of them pretty much because they are pretty good figures. If you enjoyed this video or think it was useful for you when purchasing these knockoff brands, then please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button, or leaving a comment below on how you feel about the figures. And of course, um, I have other videos on bootleg and other kinds of uh, knockoff LEGO, so if this is something you might want to get, you might want to check out those other videos as well and see if they're good or not. Some of them are pretty bad and some of them are really amazing. And as always, uh, hopefully you can check those videos out without ad block. that would be great. And I hope you can support me on Patreon if you like, that would be great too, so I can spend more time on YouTube uh, and do more videos and more kinds of videos for you guys. But as always, you don't have to do any of that. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now. And as always, Team Captain.